Action! Okay, hi. So, it is even windier today. And that again doesn't really matter all that much because we'll be flying above the waves again today. But um, I got a lot more questions and comments about yesterday's video. Um, I think that I may have struck a nerve when I said that defoiling is better than wakeboarding. And uh, in my opinion, it, it is for me, at least for my lifestyle. And uh, uh, for, for one thing, I, I had knee surgery last year and I, uh, I have really almost no meniscus left in my right knee. So my days of launching off of a wake and uh, landing out in the flats, they're, they're not something I'm gonna do anymore. Uh, so uh, I, I, I started getting into wake surfing, which is uh, pretty cool. You know, it's like you, you take a wake boat wakeboard boat and you convert it a bit so that it makes a giant wave um but uh ultimately like it, it didn't have any of the fun that actual surfing had. for me surfing is um about mostly hanging out looking at maui or you know really beautiful from the wild. i'm just happy to be floating around on anyway and then being able to ride using gravity and earth uh whereas whereas wake surfing is it's um you know, honestly, all things wakeboard boat and wake surf boat related are environmental insanity. They use so much fuel to displace that water to make a big wave to ride that I just, I felt like a greener option would be to turn to uh, sailing or kite skiing or kite surfing. And uh, the problem there is the wind's got to be just right or you can't go. Same goes for wakeboarding. If it's not smooth, you don't really want to go. You want glassy water. So the e-foil is perfect to me in that I can go in almost any weather. Uh, and I don't use fuel. And I don't have to put the boat down from the lift. You notice my boat's not actually in my lift because it's in the shop again. Uh, getting its wiring fixed this time. It's always something with a boat. Uh, if, if the boat works, then you know, your lift needs to be fixed and I'd replace the winch and the cables on that. And or you need to charge the battery so it'll just lower your boat into the water. It's always a hassle. So the, the fewer components, the more time I'm gonna spend actually on the water having fun. And the, the, the more components, and a boat's thousands of components, the more time you're going to maintain stuff and doing everything else. So I can grab my battery and my e-foil and my controller, the three things I need, and maybe a wetsuit, and go. Or I can get my boat working, get my lift working, get fuel put in the boat, call my friends, because it takes a whole crew to run the thing, untangle my rope, get my wakeboard out, get my wetsuit on, get my mirror put back on the windshield that fell off and broke a little plastic component that costs like 40 bucks to fix or replace actually. And then you go out and you maybe wait for it for 15 minutes. And then you're driving your friends around for the next hour. And I, I, I love my friends, but I would rather go surfing with them all the time. And I would like to be surfing while they're surfing. I, I want to be on the water having fun, getting exercise, the whole thing. So this is perfect for me. And the fact that I'm not strapped into the board, it's also much easier on my legs, on my knee. So every time I fall off this thing, I like surf the air, they're straight, they're not strapped in, they're not getting twisted, and I'm, I'm fine. Uh, so it's a lot gentler. Uh, one of my friends, Kurt, he thinks it's for old people. It's like, ah, oh, you know, you're getting old, you're, you're not jumping the wake in New York, it's not as extreme, it's much slower. And I'm like, so? Sure. Uh, it's old, it's not golfing, you know, I'm still surfing. It's basically all the things that I love about surfing, but the waves are always perfect. 
I can always go. And uh, and if I ever get hassled by a, a mako shark, I can I can just leave, you know. Um, versus paddling away looking like a tasty snack. This is the future. Electric is the future. But for me, this is the perfect next thing to do. This is the new sport for me. And I'm, I've loved, I'm actually having more fun, more time having fun on the water than I have with really anything else. I'm not untangling kite lines. I, I'm not having to, you know, fix tears in my sail and get my rigging all set up. I'm not having to fix my stupid wakeboard boat. I just get out there and ride. And this should be much easier to maintain and actually have just less maintenance in general. It's it's a motor, a controller, and uh, and, a, and a motor or a battery. It's, it's nothing to it. So most of the people I've talked to that own them uh, on their second year, they're still doing great and uh, not having any problems. So hopefully that'll be the same thing here. Whereas my boat, I think, had its first major issue probably two or three years in ownership needed a new engine by about 10 years into ownership. So they're expensive and they're a hassle and they are environmental disasters in terms of fuel burning, exhaust, bubbles in the lake. You know, I just, I just want a, a greener sport and this for me, this is it. So Thanks for hearing me out. That's that's just my opinion. Uh, if you love wakeboarding, keep wakeboarding. If you, if you love kite skiing, keep kite skiing. Do what you love doing on the water. Uh, unless it's jet skiing, that's just stupid. And we should just get rid of it. Anyway, uh, that's enough for me. Until they're electric. If they're electric and they don't make noise, uh, then go to town. Oh, man, man. Uh, let's go wake surfing. I'll take you guys for a ride and then I'm gonna get to the camera again because I have more fun without you. Hey Jingle! Y'all wet? Hey, hey, what's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Jingle. Can you sit? Sit. Sit! Good boy. Alright, you chill out. Don't freak out. I'm gonna go surfing. You stay here. You stay here and guard the dock. Okay, here we go. Getting up on wakeboard, speed setting number six ish. Okay, so you know I said the wind doesn't really matter. Uh, it's like seriously windy today. And even though I can find the board, it's a little challenging getting up on the board. But once you're up and above it, it's pretty good. You just gotta watch your tip to make sure it doesn't go under you know, a really big wave. But the video, I turned back on because just a second ago our our boat lift was about to tip over because of the wind. Now I turn on the camera, of course the wind died down. So as long as I keep the camera turned on to record a rare weather event, uh, we should be, and uh, it'll be fine. So I just, we just gotta watch this for the next several hours and nothing bad will happen.
Okay. Jago, come here. Jago, fit. Dog's not coming. We gotta go to him. 